Okay guys, hello. We're going to go through some tips that I've learnt while playing the forest. Hopefully these will be a little bit helpful for you. Uh, just to really survive a lot longer. So, we'll start off. When you first get off the plane you'll find suitcases like this. They are locked. You will need to crack them open. You can do so with an axe. They'll open nice and easy. You'll find circuit boards on the side of the plane. Make sure to pick these up. I'll show you how to use these in a little bit. Um, just really go around the crash site, get as much, of this, uh, get as many of the suitcases as you can find. They're all scattered along the beaches, but in this video I won't be going to the beach. But definitely do, it's well worth it. Set up shop on the beach if you can. Safest place at the moment starting off. Just round up anything you can. When you come to little huts like these, these are inland. These belong to these cannibal dudes. Um, you can stay there a little while, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you hover around too long, the enemy will come back and you will be swarmed, you'll find yourself just running away. To combine things, open up with I, or your inventory, it's a little mat. You can combine your circuit boards, your booze, uh, so we'll just go through this. So put a bit of cloth on your mat, uh, put a piece of booze, and create. You make yourself a nice Molotov cocktail. These can be thrown at the enemy, you have to equip them, and then you just throw them. You can combine different things, so if you try just different combinations, so here's a circuit board, uh, Molotov and cloth, but if we create it, it just makes a Molotov. So be careful, you may be using up items you don't want to use. If you do things like a uh, circuit board, coins, and booze, you can find yourself a nice little explosive. These are very handy. And you only get two circuit boards, so you do have two explosives, so you may be using them, you know, at times that you really want to. Um, so again, we'll just make another one there, and you just click craft. So, what I'll do is I'll just make a few of these. Um, if you do find different combinations, put it down in the comments below. I'd actu I actually don't know any more, so I'd be interested to find out some different combinations of items. Um, I have found a lot of different items from suitcases, so it would be very interesting. Stuff like sticks and booze and cloth, but it doesn't make anything except a Molotov. I thought it might make some sort of a fire stick or something, you know. Well, it doesn't. Again, you've got different items like legs and arms and heads. So, it seems like you can craft a lot in this to help you survive. So, just moving on then. Um, when you're strolling around the place, you'll find yourself a nice area to set up shop. So, you're going to create your houses and everything. I'm going to set it up here. I'll have the water on my back, a mountain to my side, and i got the forest close by to be able to chop trees down and craft. Do scout out your area before you set up shop. Again, I recommend at the very start, set up on a beach. You'll find lots of items, trees close by, and it's very pretty down there. So, when you're crafting, open up your book. You know, go by the beginner's guide, definitely. Make sure you put one of these houses. The save it works now at the moment. And place down your hood. And when you build it fully, I recommend building it as soon as possible. Um, you're able to press Z when you go close to it, and that'll save your game for you. These long pole fires are the best thing to place, definitely. You need to, well, I recommend you place a perimeter around your area. Don't put it too close to your hut. People, the, the cannibals will stay on the outside of it. Um, so do place them around. The more of a gap, the more they'll come through, but, you know, it's up to yourself what you want to do. They do take a bit of crafting or gathering supplies to make them a few sticks, rocks and leaves, but we'll go through that now. So when you start building, light it straight away, because eventually night will come. So gather the sticks, don't go chopping down the big uh, stick trees, just break the little branches. You can gather lots of sticks and create as much as you possibly can. Night will roll in and the enemy will be coming to you. So you mightn't get them all fully done, and again you can work through the night as you go. But there's a guy here who sees me, I see him up in the tree. So they're stalking me at the moment. They know where I am and they're just watching. So you'll see as I go into the darkness, they'll come. I do find that the light attracts them alright. Uh, attracts them more so. I've found that I'm in the darkness and they're standing by my camp with the brightness. But it's better to have light than be in the dark. So here they are here. When you press E, whoop, when you press E, they'll the light uh, the fire will brighten even more. So the trick to actually surviving is hover around your light. They will stay back most of the time. See they'll take the chances to run in and try and get you. 
Best thing to do is to keep sparking these flames. It sort of scares them off for a time. See, it's holding them back there. And if you actually want to kill them, these are the, these flames are the best. You, it takes lots of hits with your axe to get them. So here we go. We just hit him. We've actually knocked him into the fire, and see, he's on fire here. So there's another guy running for me. Okay, spark it, and we'll just give him a hit. Now, so we've aggroed him, and he jumps straight into my flame. That it seemed dead. You can forget about him. He's going to drop in a few seconds. Now, once you start killing them, more will come. I recommend you start chopping down your trees as soon as possible, uh, building your main shelter, building defensive walls, building a cabin, whatever you think you need. Uh, don't forget about food. You do need to eat. If you have candy bars from suitcases, they will last you a long time, but eventually you will run out. You'll need to hunt. Uh, berries at the moment are the best thing really to, to survive. As you can see at the middle of the night, I've got a gap over there and he's coming through the gap already. So if you've noticed that you have a weakness in your bar in your perimeter, start placing more fire uh, sticks just between. Again, if you want to spark these up when they start dying, all you have to do is hit E. I recommend five times. It seems to work for me. And when you're finished with it, the flame will last a lot longer. The flame just goes down, and they do start creeping closer. Whoop! And they do take chances. At the moment I'm completely surrounded by them. So now, so getting onto defensive walls and uh, different huts you can build. So, yeah, you can see I just built a, a gate, I'm using a custom building. You can build the walls, they'll automatically attach to it, and then you just drop it. You'll have to go gather your supplies, bring it over to them and build them up. There's things like the actual defensive wall itself, it has spikes on top of it. You can place these. Um, they don't really click onto your actual buildings, but you can always place them like this if you need to. You know, you build the way you want to build. I would recommend though that you build as quickly as you can. Uh, you're going to be harassed non-stop by these guys. They're going to constantly come after you. But again, see your defensive perimeter working. Um, don't build too big. As you can see here, I started to build too big and regretted it. When you're making fires, you can start cooking food. So different types of Animals will be f used for different things. This guy you can cook. This guy is for armor. So let's just equip my armor. You just slap them on. Don't ask me where you put them. Uh, and then you just you have to equip this guy in your hand, and then just place him on your fire. Now I haven't actually figured out how to take him off the fire yet. I'm sure somebody uh, watching this will know. So please let me know. Here's my explosives in action. Now that did get him, but he's kind of glitched out. So we decide to throw a malt off at him, completely miss him, and then we get our aim and we get him properly. But he is already dead. Be careful you don't walk into your own flames, it does hurt. <laughs> <coughs> there are different things you can do. Um, you can set trees on fire if you want to brighten the place up a bit for yourself. It won't last too long, but as you can see the fire does creep up all the trees here. Start your own little forest fire. Well guys, I hope that helps. Um, do put any tips you know about down in the comments below. I'd be happy to find out. I'm um, enjoying this game. Um, at the state it's in, it might be worth a full purchase, but as soon as the game is released, yeah, I'd say pick it up. It's good fun. So, thanks for watching guys.